I ought to hear every word of that whispered conversation. <laughs> All right, let's come back. Are we back? Oh, sorry, we're back on. I was looking at the screen. Um, okay, hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very well. All right, good. You. Let me do your introduction and then Thank we'll start you very talking. Much. I look forward to uh, that. You may have seen today's guest presenting Real Rooms, Movie Watch, or the National Lottery. In fact, she's on the telly so much that she's become almost one of the family. Which uh, family's that? I've absolutely no idea. Not mine. I'm middle class. I pretend not to have a family. I find you should mention these shows as well. Isn't that weird? Anyway, carry on, please. Please come. welcome all-round television personality Sally Gray. Sally, there we go. Thank you very much. What a lovely introduction. It's going so well. Is it really? I think it's really standard. well. Right. Well, you were saying it's your first time presenting. Yes, I'm well, really impressed. Go on. thank you. God bless you. Um, thank you. Let's have it. Oh, the psychic's calling Yeah, get rid of that psychic moment. I tell you, do you, you want to take a call from Yeah, because I tell you what, there's still room. There's nothing. Let's just take that. Hello there. Is that Joe? Joe, listen, I don't think your predictions are really up to much, honey. You know, I mean, how can you really tell for sure that, that the show is, you know, going to be successful? You don't really know, do you? I feel it will be. I'm sorry? I feel it will be. You think it will be? Yeah. I don't think that's good enough. Are we paying this woman? I, I, <laughs> no, I have no not. idea, but you've Joe, really I'll bought an edge to the show that I hadn't banked on. I'm sorry, I don't think much of it at all. I think I could do better by just watching the show and seeing and feeling for real if it's going to work. If you it know? works, then you'll, you, then you'll, you'll see the difference, won't you? Do you think that I will add colour to the show, Joe? Bitch fight. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. Emmy, Joe, goodbye for now because it's not going well. But thank you very much for your contributions tonight. I hope she's not being paid. Thank you. <laughs> Joe. She's not real, is she? She's not real around me, is she? She, she, really she is real. You're a piece of work, Sally. You I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's you know, fine. It's goodness it's me. It's sweet. I mean, it's, it's working in the show, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, listen, first of all... <laughs> Sorry. Now, but listen, no, 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 it's fine. No, please no, but on. it's all fine. It's you perform, enjoy yourself, for goodness sake. That's the whole point of it. Thank you. Um, thank you for coming on, uh, first of all. I have to be honest, we, we had... We were going to do a different segment uh, for our first show, and they all screwed up on Friday night. And, we f and when you said that you would be on the programme, we were punching the air and going, thank God, we have a guest <laughs> for Monday. That's absolute rubbish. But no, it is absolutely true. I don't believe true. that. No, it, is, it is absolutely true, but I must be honest, I have no idea who you are. That's I, fine. I, Listen, I've never seen you before no, in my exactly. life. It, but, you know, I think you're, you're, you're doing well. Thank you very Looking much. Looking good, doing well. Thank you. Looking good. Looking good, feeling good. Sam. Absolutely. Yeah. And eating fit. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so Sally, tell me a little bit about yourself because you are a presenter on Record Breakers and, and many other programmes, yeah, yes? 50-50. What is 50-50? 50-50, big game show on right. children's BBC. 50 right. kids in each team, they kind of fight it out, one school versus another. And how did you, now, how long have you been presenting for and doing uh, all of that? About because in eight a sense, and a half you, years. Eight and a half years? Yes. And what got you in? Were you, were you, I was accused of being very ambitious here, were you also very ambitious? Yeah, or? too, right. It's what I always wanted to do is be a television presenter. Right. Yeah. And, and how far would you have gone to, to, sacri to, um, to satisfy that bloodlust? Um, I, I tried pretty hard. I mean, I kind of shimmied into the BBC as a production secretary and basically right. told everybody that I met I wanted to be a presenter. People right. like Peter Sissons, I was working on Question Time and lots of news and current affairs would shows. You have, would you have sacrificed the life of a pet? No, I wouldn't have gone that far. Right, I would right. not have slept with anyone either. Oh, really? Right, The casting right. couch was out for me. I had to, had to get there on talent, if possible. Yeah. But I did a bit of networking and eventually found out does about that, shows. Does that work, then, networking? I'll tell you what, but I got don't... my first presenting job by chatting to a girl in the tea bar up yeah. at L Street, BBC L Street, right? Yeah. Chatting away, I thought, I recognise this girl. I've yeah. seen her somewhere before. It turned out we shared a can of hairspray in the girls' toilets at Lime Grove, another BBC studio. Amazing. Anyway, chatting away to this girl, and she said she's a You're PA. You're drinking hairspray? <laughs> sharing a ca you know, sharing the girls' oh, sharing, toilets. Oh, that's what you do, I girly see. toilets, you know, a bit of your hair stuff. I understand, it's a I girl I recognised this girl, and she said to me that she was working on a new kids' show. Yeah. I said, what's the kids' show? A new show being made up in Scotland. I said, well, who's the presenting? They're looking for someone. I thought, that is my show. It's being made by BBC Scotland in Edinburgh, where I come from. You are ready to go. To you're, you're, you just don't stop. You're ruthless. No, I'm not ruthless. No, you are, but you've just got that energy that every good presenter needs to have. You just keep going You're and plowing nice through. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm neither being nice nor not. I'm, I'm making an observation. Um, you seem to be quite physically fit, he said, reading from the auto cue. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is, this is the thing. This is you doing no. a... a Record breakers. Oh, record breakers. And what is this push-up? This guy up? is going to do the most amount of press-ups using only his hands. Right. Right? It's a hand press-up thing. No one had seen this until it happened. Hilarious. Wait to see it. That is it. Now, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Nobody's seen the man doing it. He's having sex with the ground. And my face was the only face we would go to because Linford Christie was laughing so much. They couldn't go to him and everybody in the gallery lost it and the poor producer's going, come on, people, focus, focus. Because everyone was killing themselves laughing. 
No one is he, but no one is he having sex with the ground. He's humping a target. He seems to need that. <laughs> That's part of the record breaker set. I, how is that? How is that in any way a press up championship <laughs> moment? What, what is he pressing because up? Because I think he's right. the first person ever to come up with such a ridiculous record right. attempt. His name is Manjit. He's actually um, I'll pulled say his buses. Name's Manja. Manjit. Oh, Manjit. Oh, Manjit. I couldn't have guessed he's that. Pulled, look at look for his laughing. Um, he's pulled buses by the strength of his hair. That's the kind of record attempt that he conjures up. But this seems to me more like the kind of thing you would see on You Bet than Record Breakers, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, let's watch the end of this. <laughs> I'm spent, baby! Look at him, he's laughing. That's a lovely moment. Do you, do, you, do you enjoy that? Because presumably you're hanging around all kinds. Are you, do you have any records yourself? Don't you have to have, have broken a record to present that no, show? No, you don't need that. They're just going to get you along. Right. But it's great to be working with Linford. I mean, what a man he is. The guy is so famous. Everywhere you go, people are coming up to him and touching him. And really? Wow. Isn't it great? Are you excited about this GLA business, all this Ken Livingston business? Does that do anything to you? Yeah, well, I, I quite like the fact that you've got quite a sort of empty shot and everything. I think that's really working on television especially. Uh, so, but you have... <laughs> I want the psychic back. Don't get the psychic back. He's a true standing. No, I want you two cats to go at it again. <laughs> Come on. Um, what would you like to do? I mean, so you've been in this for sort of like seven or eight, eight years, you say. Eight years, done loads of different kinds of shows. And where do you go from here? What happens? Well, prime time, I've got a new show starting Thursday. Oh, what's that? On the other side. Um, it's an interior design show. The other show. side? Oh, ITV. It's, hey. not, it's not a psychic thing. It's a genuinely... It's another <laughs> channel. Yeah. That was quite funny. Yeah. I'm quite slow with oh, some things. No, that was good. That was very good. The other side. Uh, yes, well, interior luck. design show, lots of celebrities' houses, oh, gosh, and right. like, kind of rooted amongst knicker drawers, and, you know, get chatting oh, to God, them. I yes. love all that stuff. It's yeah. great. That's lovely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And thank you for coming on. Thank you for being so spunky, because thank it's you. exactly what we needed to get us going. Yeah, thank you very it's been much. great to be here. Thank all you. right. Um, now, I've got to wrap this thing up. Now, that's our show. Out of the way. Uh, but we are here tomorrow. We're, apparently, we're going to go and do something. We're here tomorrow and every weeknight at 11 p.m. on BBC Choice. Uh, we're going to play you out tonight with a track from this album, uh, from the best-selling CD, Winning in Politics, over live shots of tonight's celebrations of Ken Livingston's oh, inauguration. We've lost the link. We have lost the link. Well, let's, I'll, tell you what, let's, I'll tell you what, 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 what we'll do then is we'll play out with the track. The track you're going to hear is called First Past the Post, and you and I can go and enjoy something at the Red Tea Bar and enjoy the first night celebrations. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. God bless you. Thank you. Do you think that's quite yeah, good? I like that.